Okay, intraday market profiles. Uh, the first one we're going to go over is the sell profile, London normal protraction. And what you want to be looking for for a classic sell day for intraday trading, you start with the central bank dealers range. And for a classic or high probability London normal protraction sell day, the central bank dealers range is going to be less than 40 pips. Now, as soon as you see a central bank dealers range that's greater than 40 pips, this is not going to be that profile. The Asian session range between 8 o'clock and midnight, New York time, we call that the Asian range. This is going to also have a classic range of 20 to 30 pips. If it's larger than that, again, this profile will not be existing. Typically, what you're going to see is the market will rally up after 12 a.m. New York time to 2 a.m. New York time. You're already looking for a bearish move. You're already bearish on the higher time frame. The daily's indicating lower prices. So what we're looking for is the London high to form. Classically, the high probability scenario for this profile to unfold is you have to see what time it is in New York at midnight, and then you're going to be seeing price immediately start trading up from that point. If it does not start trading up into two o'clock in the morning, New York time, that is not this profile. So right away you have a filter. You have the central bank dealers range has to be less than 40 pips. Check. Asian range has to be 20 to 30 pips. Check. Now if those two conditions are there but yet we do not see price rallying after 12 a.m. New York time into 2 a.m. If that does not occur again that is not the London normal protractionary sell day. The protractionary stage or Judas swing will be one to two standard deviations of the central bank dealers range. If the central bank dealers range is greater than 40 pips, there's been a whole lot more later afternoon New York session price action. So that means it's been extended further. If they have allowed the price to move further in a range greater than 40 pips after 2 p.m. New York time, that's going to mess up their model for allowing the float to build. You want to see a consolidation between 2 o'clock p.m. to 8 p.m. New York time. If that does not exist, right away you have a warning sign that you're probably not going to be wanting to trade London. Now that can change. What makes that change is if the Asian range goes down to a 20 to 30 pip range and stays very tightly consolidated, then we can go back to electing to look for this profile. Now, the market, again, has to rally immediately after midnight New York time. And you want to see that sustained movement higher moving up into towards the two o'clock hour in New York time. So what that's doing is it's creating that initial move, that protractionary state. You are looking for the move to be going up, but the entry can occur as early as 1.30 a.m. New York time, 1 o'clock in the morning New York time. You want to see immediate movement up after 12 a.m. At 1 a.m. to 1.30, it should have made a higher high than that what was seen in the Asian range or Central Bank Dealers range. As an example, this is what it would look like. As you can see here, we have a small consolidation, Asian range, and we have immediately after midnight time frame, price goes straight up, and then from there, creates the high of the day and trades down. The protractionary stage is seen here immediately after that midnight candle. Okay, intraday market profiles continuing to our sell profile with London delayed protraction. The market may or may not have a favorable central bank dealer's range. That means it could be an ideal stage set. It could be less than 40 pips or it could be greater than 40 pips. This profile can go either way when we're using the central bank dealer's range. The directional bias is going to be bearish, but the protractionary stage is going to be delayed in the day. In other words, we're not going to see the rally right after midnight in New York time. It may just erode and go lower right after midnight. IPTA will enter a protractionary stage at or shortly after 2 a.m. New York. So what you're going to be doing is you have a vertical line on your 15 minute time frame and you're looking for price to stage a rally at or just shortly after 2 a.m. That rally is going to be a intraday inside the range that's already existing or, or inside the, the high that's already formed for the day. It's going to be creating a smaller little Judas swing. It's going to rally up from two o'clock and making your London entry come to fruition. You're going to be looking for an intraday premium PD array to short on inside that retracement. Now, again, that retracement is going to occur at or just after 2 a.m. When do you look for that? When the market does not create that 12 a.m. New York time rally. In other words, the price does not go into a protractionary stage higher after midnight. It just rolls over, goes soft, and just makes a 
progressively lower move going into 2 a.m. Not a problem. Draw a vertical line at 2 a.m. Wait for a retracement higher. That will be IPTA's protractionary stage. It will not want to make a higher high and price will go to a premium PD array, bear shoulder block, cl close a fair value gap or liquidity void, and then you will be selling short on the day. And again, the primary premise is, is you already have to have a bearish outlook. The daily is respecting resistance ideas and it should be seeking sell side liquidity. If you have those criteria, this is the London delayed protractionary profile that you look to trade off of. An example that would be seen here, price rolls over, just doesn't make any higher high. And then we have a protraction A stage right after 2 o'clock on this time frame. This is uh, seen with 7 GMT, which would be 2 o'clock in New York time. Price creates a rally, trades back up into a bearish order block, and then creates the London session high, trading lower. And you can see the projection A stage here after 2 a.m. Now we're going to look at the buy profiles. Now, this is the one I like to trade when I'm looking to buy in the London session. This is the London normal protraction stage. Central bank dealers range, again, is going to be less than 40 pips. The Asian range is 20 to 30 pips. Again, a narrow consolidation. The market's going to decline lower after 12 a.m. New York time into 2 a.m. New York. That's the fingerprint, if you will, that if is doing what we're outlining here in terms of characteristics. So if we do not see an immediate decline from 12 a.m. New York down into 2 a.m. New York, this is not going to be a London normal protraction buy day. The projectionary stage or due to swing will be one to two standard deviations of the central bank dealers range. An example of that is seen here. The market enters a small central bank dealers range and Asian range is also a, a respectable range in terms of pips. Then price drops lower right after the midnight candle, finds the low of the day and expands up for a higher close. As you can see here, this is the protraction stage immediately after 12 a.m. New York time. Okay, intraday market profiles continuing with our buy profile of the London delayed protraction. For this, we're going to be looking for the market may or may not have a favorable central bank dealers range. So it can happen either or. It can be a day where the central bank dealers range is less than 40 pips or greater than 40 pips. The filter moves over to the Asian range. That is also a defining factor. It helps build this a little bit more as a favorable uh, trading profile if the Asian range creates a small range. But it's not necessary because the profile could be seen with or without the Asian range being in a range or the central bank dealers range being in a small consolidation as well. Main premise is the directional bias is bullish, but the protraction is delayed. IPTA will enter a protraction stage at or shortly after 2 a.m. New York. And you're going to be looking for a discount PD array to buy at during a retracement that will occur at or shortly after 2 a.m. New York time. An example seen here, the market starts up and it doesn't give us a real clear uh, picture right away. It starts moving higher, doesn't give us that big move lower or initial drop down. So we have a questionable central bank dealers range or Asian range scenario. We can be looking for our directional bias to unfold, which is a bullish day. IPTA will enter a protractionary stage at or shortly after 2 a.m. New York. That's the blue line here. Market drops down. And it dips into an intraday discount PD array. In this example here, you can see it trades down into a previous down close candle or bullish order block, creating the London setup to unfold for the rest of the bullish close day.